Hey everyone, I'm Anastasia, America's dental hygienist, and your host for today's Straight Talk. I've got with me today Jen Post, who's adjunct professor at the University of Minnesota, and she's also a, pr a practicing clinician in dental hygiene, which, okay, that's a lot of hats to wear, but welcome, Jen Post. Good to have you. Thank you. It's really nice to be here. And how's the weather up there in Minnesota? Do tell. Um, it's sunny, but it's cold, so I'm just thankful for the sun. <laughs> <laughs> we all need that sunshine. It does make it better no matter what. You have had experience with 3M's line of hygiene products. So for our viewers, we discussed, you know, Climpro 5000 and we'll introduce their varnish, you know, in a future series. But, you know, obviously for anyone who doesn't know, it does have fluoride in it and it is a professionally dispensed product. Can you please share a little bit about like how important the, pro the fluoride is in it? And what exactly does it do, like the uptake into the enamel? Uh, well, ClinPro 5000, as you said, is prescription strength. So that means it's 5,000 parts per million, which is five times more than regular toothpaste. So um, how it really works is the fluoride helps to bring calcium and phosphate into the tooth. So it's kind of, I like to think of it as the bridge that lets calcium and phosphate into the tooth. And those are the things that are the building blocks of the enamel and make the tooth strong. Now, when you're talking about the fluoride, what kind of fluoride is actually in it? Is it sodium? That's, that's sodium fluoride. That's right. Okay, so it's sodium fluoride, 5,000 parts per million. We've got the calcium and the phosphate going. When, I mean, how, does, how long does that last? So if you were a dental hygiene student or even a practicing clinician like myself, if you were just looking at it and going, okay, this would be a great candidate, but you're looking at it strictly from the ingredient side, how long can I expect that fluoride to last for them? Well, when we think about fluoride, we don't always think about how long it lasts. We think about the mechanism of action, which is that fluoride pulling the calcium and phosphate into the tooth. So as long as um, the calcium and phosphate are available in the saliva, um, and we have fluoride um, introduced, then that fluoride is going to be bringing that in as long as it's available. So after you brush, um, and usually when you use ClinPro 5000, you'll just spit out the excess, so there'll be a little residue left in the mouth, and that'll keep working. Um, so we don't necessarily think about how long it'll last. We want that daily dose to get onto the tooth. All right, so now that's that's it. Another question coming right at you. I love how you said when you're going to spit it out, and then obviously we know it's going to be in the saliva, and there's already, you know, saliva already is, is powerful enough in patients who have a healthy output. So that's going to last even longer for the patient. I'm thinking at night might be best for them in order for them to, in order for the tooth to keep receiving the powerful component of calcium and phosphate, correct? You know, we notice that uh, patients who use it like before bed, like before they go to sleep, they get a little bit more um, benefit from the uh, fluoride, from ClinPro 5000. Um, but you can use it any time of day. You know, the thing about ClinPro 5000, you can just use it like your regular toothpaste. So it's okay to use it in the morning too. You may get a little bit more benefit using it at night. All right, so now going on, you know, obviously with the fluoride, sodium fluoride is what we're addressing here. You know, if, if you've ever seen The Water Boy, and it was like, Mama always says that something is the devil. So we've got, like, Mama always said, is fluoride the devil? Is it safe? Fluoride is very safe. Fluoride is a naturally occurring element in water already. And we just have a lot of years of studies to back up the safety and efficacy of fluoride. Um, you know, Lots of studies showing uh, great reductions in decay over time in people that get more fluoride um, and get that fluoride incorporated into their enamel um, at, a, at an early age, but then also through life. Um, and we know that this is safe, and um, I, I compare a lot of the, the scariness about fluoride, very similar to the things that have been going on with vaccines. Um, a few people started some bad rumors with some junk science, and um, those things just don't hold up when we when we test them scientifically. So you know, leading off into that, that was phenomenal. What can our viewers expect in an upcoming episode? Well, the next thing I'd like to talk about is um, 
the types of products that have ideal levels of fluoride and um, how you can use those. There's take home and in office treatments that are very effective and easy to use. That's a great teaser that we'll leave them off with. Jen Post, I want to thank you for your time today and until next time, take what you learn and make a difference with it.